like, how long does it take him to get down here? There is without guarantee. I have slumber. And the night is Alright. Oh, and he summons more guys. Can you come down here? Can you, like, can you please? He didn't move? It's gonna be a real pain in the ass. He didn't move. And there's no... There's no cognition sources. <laughs> Unbelievable. What a crappy map this is for us. Well, I can't hit him. Well, I didn't try actually. Can I hit him from down here? Alright, draw cognition. Draw cognition. Hacks him. He's not dead. He's not friggin' dead. Ah, uh, who cares? Keep running. <laughs> yeah, yeah, who cares? And your turn. I can't hit him from down here, right? Yeah, no, he's too high up. You move there. Isn't he almost dead? Yes. Alright, that completely killed him. Oh. He gains HP when you kill one of his dudes. Okay. Is that gonna be a problem? 38. Should I just like avoid hitting the the flayed ones then? I don't even know. How should I move? Maybe I should have like moved all the way up. Would I have had enough cognition to get there in one turn? I'm not sure. Let me wait a little bit. You destroy that body. Cognition. I just realized that guy's left a the body there. And turn. Use a cognition. 
was a second condition. Draw cognition. One, two. Break the body. And turn. Servitors. Put a servitor there. Put a servitor there. Him from here. Well, let's say I go to here. I should have paused. Kill them in one burst, can I? Fill the cognition cage. I want to like get behind him. costs two cognition to use. I need to like make sure I count my cognition properly. Okay, machine spirit charged. Blast him? Nope. Damage. Overzealous. Get more cognition. <laughs> We're just, just abusing the cognition. Uh, shoot him with this. Three, and then you come here. Him with the axe. Oh, I didn't charge up. Well, they cost condition anyway. Maybe, I, maybe that's fine. 
He's got 18 health left. I can do this. I can definitely do this. Please don't kill him. I shouldn't have hit him. I shouldn't have hit him. Crap. I shouldn't have hit him. <laughs> I shouldn't have hit him! I should have just sat there. Alright, you stay there. You, you with the guns. You're gonna walk up. Keep walking up. You're gonna charge that. Oh, I just realized that I don't get to. He if I kill him now, I don't get to heal. This does 14 to 16. Sixteen. This does eight to nine, it kills him. <laughs> I need to not kill him here. Uh that might be playing with fire. Can you use the canical again? Max your cognition. <laughs> Three to ten. Oh crap! All right, move there. Uh, before I do anything else, heal more tech priests for everything. If I if I misjudge this and I run out of um. Cognition will be real embarrassing. <laughs> it's gonna be real embarrassing if I misjudge this. <laughs> I can hit him from here. I hit my own guy though. I can actually hit him from there. He's got six health. Six. Oh my god, I just did six. <laughs> I barely killed him. <laughs> Alright, we managed to kill him while at full health. Uh, you just can the codes, man. You just can the codes and you have infinite cognition points. The hulking horror that is Lord Abja collapses to the ground in a mass of torn flesh and ruptured metal. The fusion of biological and mechanical parts prevents the remains from teleporting away in their entirety, leaving many gory chunks of Abjao's structure oozing on the floor. The cohort can recover these after they have given the Omnicide thanks for helping them prevail against such a monstrosity. Kill confirmed, unmaking concluded. Got him. At great cost, none who witnessed Lord of Jar will be the same. Even my neuro vault struggled to contain the disgust and dread at such a sight. Bodies heal, minds heal, Lord of Jar remains dead. Time is on our side. The tomb of Abjao is still a moral threat, but with Abjao gone it will not continue to get worse. We may yet hold it, Captrix. We may yet be victorious on Silver Tenebris. Concepts of victory is dependent on high value target eliminations. There will be more calls to the chase. The hunt is not yet finished. Okay. We've taken down three of them. There's definitely one more. Ah, what a great success. Good job, everyone. Absolutely wrecked it. Alright, 38. Canticle of the Iron Sword. The next attack would deal plus 8 damage? 
probably not worth it. Because it's a, it's a single single eight, uh, eight damage. Cohort. You will continue to become more of a dominant. I've run out of things to put on him. <laughs> I could put another Volkai Blaster on him, I guess. Does anything use more? I mean, this thing. Machine Spirit plus 2 damage. I'm not sure... I can run such heavy weapons. Phosphor Blaster, Heavy Arc Rifle. Can get a bigger version of this. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I don't have enough cognition cost to... to put in any more stuff, basically. Alright, so we're not gonna give him any more stuff, we're just doing this for the skills. Alright, what should I do now? Aggro lag, Ukjao, Necropsis, Aggro lag. Cognitive canister, which I never use. This, this quest has been sitting here for a long, long time. The robot power fuel generator scanner. Oh, I guess I can put a bigger scanner on one of my guys. Not that I use scanners. Yeah, I don't even use scanners. Never mind. Let's do this one. This one is missing here for a long time. Uh, I might do one more mission and then take a break. Margos, stable, orbit the trees and achieved and maintained. Okay, Ro is our navigator. Or pilot. My thanks, quartermaster. I would remain in geosynchronous orbit for the duration of this mission. Fuel reserves calculated. Continuous orbit probable, but not certain. Additional fuel acquisition recommended. Attention required. Troublesome news, Margos. The tanks are nearly empty. Supplies are low. Far from sufficient. Problematic in the extreme. How can our supplies be low? We only just arrived here, Quartermaster. Warp transit less than satisfactory. New report states cargo supplies vented into the void as a result of damage. Most unacceptable. <laughs> That's not... You just vented all your fuel? <laughs> then what is our situation now, Quartermaster? Deploying armed force on hostile world is costly exercise, logistically complex, running costs for the Kestis Metallicon in orbit far from negligible. Crisis in isotropic fuel matter for the core reactors. Disappointment and frustration are flooding my neural vaults and require quarantining. I focus instead on a solution. Can you present one? The tomb of Agrolag contains strong traces of radioactive decay, supplies of necessary materials present. Request acquisition before materials half-life is expired. Alright, so this is like from the beginning of the game. Let's go get some fuel. Huh. The Tomb of Agrolag isn't particularly welcoming, Marcos. Are you certain it's worth the risk to go in? We can actually see enemies? Our mission here cannot be fulfilled if the Kestis Metallicon has insufficient fuel to stay in a stable orbit. Very well, I hope the Quartermaster understands what missions like this cost. <laughs> Probably nothing. Cost of deployment less than value of resources acquired. Mission is mathematically justified. Well, when you put it like that. <laughs> What's the best way to do this? Do I go through the combat? No, right? I can like go here, and then here, and then there, and then there, and then there, right? Maybe 
Maybe I should go through the combat. No, combat takes too long. Every turn you take in the combat, it goes up by one, doesn't it? A sudden radiation spike has turned this part of Ergolac's tomb into a dangerous hot zone. A pair of Skatari lie in the zone, evidently having been overcome by the red levels. It is sacrilegious to leave them there unrecovered, but the area may be too hazardous to do anything else. Commemorate the dead, pray for the dead and leave them where they are. Bring back the dead, attempt to recover the bodies, cremate the dead, burn the bodies, at least they will not lie there to rot. We're gonna bring back the dead. Oh, of course. It can increase by three, we don't get anything out of it. The cobalt tries to enter the hot zone and hold the bodies to safety, however, the extreme radiation levels drive them back. <laughs> Oh, what a disaster. What a complete disaster everything is. 